Hey, this is Cameron. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking through briefly what we're doing with this wasteland on our hill over here and how we're gonna be turning it into some terraces that are gonna be used for these amazing grow beds. Let's get busy. When we moved in here 10 years ago, um, this was a fairly lush grass covered hill. And then there were times where the grass would die and then the grass would come back and we would water it, which we are watering it. Um, and, but what would happen is the way that our lot and the lot above us is situated is that there is a ton of rain runoff that would create this river right down the middle of our yard, washing away all that soil down toward our patio over here. And what that meant for us was that whenever we would try to plant, so I tried to reseed it, I actually got uh, grass plugs that I planted all throughout. And our efforts have just failed on here as far as grass goes. Now, grass is one of those things where it's, it takes so much water to do, it's not productive. I mean, it's nice in the sense of being able to walk on it or kids to play in it, but a whole hill covered with this and maintaining that really wasn't doing a lot for us with respect to uh, something that's big on our heart and that is growing fruits and vegetables in our yard. Um, obviously in the orchard, you've seen that many times. And so I had a vision a while ago to, to do two things, to um, deal with so that we wouldn't have any more erosion and to make this area a usable area. And that is the idea behind this, is to terrace this area. The way that we think we're going to do it is we're gonna start and have a three foot wall and then go back 10 feet, go up another three feet, back another 10 feet, and up a couple of feet just to keep the earth from like the orchard and that at bay. And so that we're gonna have that on both sides, on this side of the eventual stairs and then on that side of the eventual stairs. So we'll have four total growing beds, roughly 10 feet wide uh, with maybe some walking path in between. And I don't know what it is, 25, 27 feet long. So that's what we're looking forward to with this. Uh, a guy we're working with to come and make this thing a reality came out this weekend and we spray painted off some areas and we think that we're gonna have like some stairs going straight up this area here. Um, one grow bed with like a rounded thing. We're gonna have space on this side for a truck to be able to back up. So that way when we've got to wanna add new compost or whatever kind of soil to it, we'll be able to do that. Um, and we're really excited about this. Because right now what we've done is we have our, our square foot gardening garden back here, but we want to be able to do more. We want to be able to do rows of stuff. We want to be able to plant a bunch of different types of things. We don't want to feel like we're sacrificing uh, vegetable growth when we're wanting to plant flowers. And so we'll have a lot of room to be able to do that. I haven't added up the square feet. Off the top of my head, we've got, pff, I don't even know how many square feet. Let's see, like 15 feet of growing by 30 feet. What is that? Is that four, 450 square feet? Wow. 450 square feet of, of gardening is actually a ton of gardening considering that we had like 60 or 80 or 90 or whatever it was back here. So we're gonna be like quintupling our garden size. And so really excited about that. Kind of a final thing as we're uh, setting out on probably doing this project is being able to grab seeds and save the seeds and plant the seeds in some sort of meaningful way. It always kills me when, you know, we wanna have some variety down in our garden over there. And so you buy a seed packet and the seed packet has like a few hundred seeds in it, but you only need to use 20 of them because you wanna plant other stuff. And so then you end up, you know, the other seeds go bad. They're not gonna germinate in the same way the next year. And we wanna be able to, to do a couple of things, grow a bunch of something, and also when we save the seeds, have those open pollinated varieties that give us, you know, whatever you save the seed, it's gonna be the same kind of plant the next year. So we're excited to do that as well. This is a huge project for us. I'm gonna be making some videos to chronicle what's going on here. And as we embark on planting here and get more into the veget you know, the veg vegetative things, vegetables, um, and even like a nice beautiful flower area, 
Um, I'm going to be sharing that with you. And I'd love your thoughts. Is there anything I should be looking out for as we do a couple of retaining walls? Is there anything I should be thinking about in terms of the type of soil? You guys opened my eyes as far as doing the sandy loam. Gary from Laguna Hills Nursery uh, watching a video. A few of you guys mentioned that. Um, that was really inspiring. That opened my eyes to think through this a little bit differently. So as you uh, think through this and throw in some of your feedback or thoughts, love to hear what are ideas that you've had? What, is, what has worked for you in your yard as you've embarked on creating more usable space, um, something that's more productive space? Would love to hear it, it'd be a big help to me. So if you're not yet subscribed to the Busy Gardener channel, now would be a great time to do it. Hit the like button because that makes me feel oh so good. Notification bell will let you know when a new video is posted so that'll make you feel oh so good. And uh, hey, whether you've got one square foot of desolate wasteland in your backyard or 500, until next time, stay busy.